Hi, kids. Glad to have you join us today. Um, we've been talking about Jesus and Paul and what it means to be a believer. And today we're going to talk about standing up for Jesus. So before we get started, let's pray and then we'll get going. Lord, thank you so much for all that you've done for us and for your love. And I just pray that you would help us to learn little by little to stand up for you and be bold for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, well, Paul was a person in our New Testament in the book of 2 Corinthians. Um who helped start churches all over um, in the known world at that time. And so it's, let's see where 2 Corinthians is. It's in the New Testament. Okay, you ready? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians. We're in, we're in 2 Corinthians. Okay. So Paul stood up for uh, Jesus in a time, at a time and in places where it was dangerous to do so. Um, they weren't allowed to say things like we are um, right now. So let's look at what happened to Paul. And what I want you to do is to take out a piece of paper or maybe if you have a whiteboard or a chalkboard or anything you can write on. And I want you to make a list of all the things in these verses that Paul went through, the things that happened to Paul, all right? And then when we're done, we're going to rate them as far as which ones you think would be the worst, okay? All right, let's start. We're in First Corinth or 2 Corinthians, sorry, 2 Corinthians um, 11, verses 23 through 27, if you want to look it up. Okay, um, we're going to look at the, the um, last half of 23. I have worked much harder, been in prison more frequently, been flogged more severely, and been exposed to death again and again. So flogged would be one, right? Flogged is where they hit you with something hard, like a stick, um, and then um, it says exposed to death again and again. Okay, let's go to the next verse. Five times I received from the Jews the 40 lashes minus one. And what that means is that they whipped you with something across your back. Usually they had little metal pieces in the thing they whipped you with. And um, 40 lashes was known to be like 40 lashes maybe could kill you. So they would do 40 minus 1, which is 39. Okay? Five times they did that to Paul. So that's another one for your paper. Three times I was beaten with rods. Um, once I was pelted with stones. Three times I was shipwrecked. I spent a night and a day in the open sea. In other words, he spent a night and a day floating out in the water without a boat. Um, not on purpose. <laughs> Probably because it's ship, one of the shipwrecks. Okay. Um, I have been constantly on the move. I've been in danger from rivers, in danger from bandits, in danger from my fellow Jews, in danger from Gentiles, that's people who aren't Jews, in danger in the city, in danger in the country, in danger at sea, and in danger from false believers, people who pretended to be believers. I have labored and toiled, that means worked and toiled, and have gone without sleep. So that's another one. I have known hunger and thirst, and have often gone without food. I have been cold and naked. So it's quite a bit there, isn't it? Yeah, that's awful. So what I want you to do now 
is that I want you to take your list and pick out the one that you think would be the worst. And then put that number one beside that one, number two besides the next worst, and go all the way down, okay? Go ahead and do that and come back. Okay, now, think of the things in the verse we said was the least awful. Okay, so you started at one, go down to the, the one that was the last one on your list. Okay, would you be willing to endure those things that, hmm, be honest, you know, for Je you know, to endure it for Jesus? Be honest, you know, yeah, we know what the right answer is. Sure, we should be willing to do that because we know Jesus died for us. But, you know, that would be really hard. And if we're honest, some of those things would really scare us. And we might try to find a way out, might we? Okay. Well, Paul suffered for his faith because he stood up for Jesus. There was no limit to what he was willing to do for God. It didn't matter. Yet God was there for Paul, even in his toughest time, even in that one that you had a number one and it was circled. Okay. What's the hardest thing that's happened to you or someone that you know when you stood up for Jesus? Talk about that a little bit. Um, I've had times when I was working when people would um, a lot of times when you stand up for Jesus sometimes people who know that they're not following God or not doing things right where you make them feel guilty and so they don't like that and so then they'll treat you badly I've had that happen to me um so that's you know and and maybe you can think of some things like that okay we stand up for Jesus. I hope we never have to suffer the way that Paul suffered. But whatever we face, we know that God is with us in those tough times. His love and faithfulness make it worth, worth it. He suffered for us, didn't he? He suffered through it all. He actually died at the end of his suffering, didn't he? He even took our sin on him in that suffering. That's even worse. Can you imagine taking on every bad thing that everybody did? That would be something on that. That would be just awful. Um, we, we know, though, that no matter what the hard times bring, God can twist and turn them into things that are good for our faith and for his kingdom, his glory. Okay? All right, so now I want you to get two pieces of paper and put them right on top of each other, all right? Two pieces of white paper, probably white. It doesn't really matter, I guess, what color they are. But two papers on top of each other, and then I want you to get some, if you have them, colored pencils, or the nearest thing that you have to that, okay? Something that's light colored pencils. And then what I want you to do, I want you to, Take your pencils and draw or write some of the hard things that Paul went through on the top paper. And you can look back at the Bible verses or our list, okay, um, if you need ideas. And then I want you to stop if you get a hole in your paper. So you're going to draw and you're going to press as hard as you can, as hard as you possibly can, and, and drawing those things that are on there that uh, happened to Paul. And then I want you to stop when you get a hole in the top of your paper. So go ahead and do that and come back, okay? How much hard writing and drawing did you think your paper would take? Hmm, how did that compare with how much it actually took to make a hole? Probably a little more than you planned on, right? Yeah. Tell about a time when your faith was weaker than you thought it should be. Okay. 
Maybe you didn't think it would take very much time at all. Maybe you thought it would take a lot of time. Maybe it didn't take very long to get your hole in there. And maybe that paper was weaker than you thought. And that's what we're talking about here. Sometimes we think we're strong, but we're really not. Okay? Our case can be much stronger than a piece of paper. When we spend time getting to know Jesus more, our faith grows. When we do things a little bit at a time um, and keep growing that faith, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And just like Paul, we stand up for Jesus. Okay, so I'll show you what I'm talking about when I mention um, little bit by little bit, okay? So I want you to stand up. Okay, because we're practicing standing up for Jesus, all right? <laughs> so everybody stand up. All right, now I want you to try standing on your left foot only. Okay, so you're going to lift your right foot up and only stand on your left foot. Okay, now switch. Now on your right foot only. Okay. Now stand on both feet, but with your eyes closed. Okay, now stand on your right foot only with your eyes closed. Mm, it's a little harder, isn't it? Now stand on both feet and slowly raise your right foot. Okay, now with your eyes closed, try standing on just your right foot. Tiptoe. Just on your tippy toe, just on the right side. <laughs> now open your eyes and sit down, okay? All right. So, how did each round, every time we did it, prepare you for the next harder one? Was it a little easier each time? Okay. What helps you practice standing up for Jesus? Okay, whenever when we step out in faith to do something that maybe we're a little scared about, we're a little afraid about, but we know Jesus wants us to do it, and we ask him to help us. Every time we do that, it helps us grow a little stronger in our faith. And every time we read our Bible and read about his power and how much he can help us, and what he's done for us, that helps us grow our faith. Um, standing up for Jesus is something that we do with our whole lives, not just our bodies. Okay, we tell others that we know and love Jesus. We live the way he wants us to live. We ask him to help us grow more like him every day. And the more practice we get, the better we'll be able to stand up for Jesus. Now what I want you to do is realize that sometimes the best way that we can stand up for Jesus is to be on our knees praying for ourselves and for others. So why don't you kneel right where you're at right now and pray to Jesus and ask God to help you to stand up for Jesus, to be bold for him so that others can get to know him like you do. All right, and I'll be praying for you this week as you um, attempt to do that. And we need to make a practice of that, don't we? All righty. Well, you have a great week. Bye-bye.